Hey, John from Mighty here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can leverage the Mighty Chrome extension and ChatGPT to make any custom CSS change that you want to make inside of your Rise course. And you don't have to be a developer. ChatGPT is pretty powerful, and it's able to just be provided some HTML. And once you've got that HTML, you can ask it to do all sorts of fun things. So we're going to go ahead and walk through a couple of use cases to do that. Now, before you get started, make sure that you've got the Mighty Chrome extension installed, and then we will jump into your Rise course, and I'll show off a couple of examples, and then we'll leverage ChatGPT. Let's dive in. All right, so we're going to jump into a lesson here and start with a fun, interesting use case. So here we are leveraging a timeline block. And with this timeline block, we are using two different media types within our events that we're creating. First is this embedded one where we're embedding a YouTube video, go Foo Fighters. And then the next one is just a normal image from the Rise library. And you'll notice here that they're in different orders for whatever reason, don't really understand exactly, but what it's doing is it's embedding them above the description but when it's an image being added, it gets added below. And it's kind of weird, not necessarily consistent. My preference would be to just have the event date, the title, the description, and then the media that we want to leverage. So how would we go about moving this so that way they are in the same order? Well, like I said, we're going to leverage chat GPT for this. So first step that we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit into the code, but not be coders by right clicking. We're going to go to the inspect window, which brought this up here. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to highlight some HTML that just encapsulates the section that we really most care about and no more because we don't really want to confuse chat GPT, which is easy to do. So as you'll notice, I'm moving my cursor up the different elements in the HTML and it's highlighting different sections. So what we want to do is we just want to get up to the furthest level that encapsulates everything that we care about. And then we're going to grab that HTML and go over to ChatGPT. So now that I've got that here with this timeline card main, you can right click copy element and then we'll go over to ChatGPT. So as we get into ChatGPT, what we need to do is give it some set of instructions. As we know, ChatGPT can't read our mind yet, eee. but we can certainly give it a set of instructions like we would our developer friend. And from there, it'll give us some suggested outputs that we'll have to try. So let's just go ahead and give it a little bit of a context and a setup. I have some HTML that I'd like for you to create some CSS for. In this example, I have four items that I want to rearrange. Specifically, I want to move the YouTube video to the bottom of this timeline card. Can you help? Here is the HTML. And then what we will do is we will just paste that in, send that off to ChatGPT and see what it says. So from here, this suggestion actually looks pretty good. Me as a developer reading this, this is probably what I would do. It's just taking that card main container and setting it up using something called Flexbox, which is exactly what I would suggest. And then it specifies the order in which each of these items should be leveraged. So what we want to do is test this out before we actually implement it with Mighty. So what you can do for that is if you just copy this code, let's go back over to Rise. And then what we're going to do is create a special CSS file that immediately will apply to our course. So the way you can do that is by clicking this plus button here. This will create an inspector style sheet. And then in the inspector style sheet, we can just paste that code in. All right, as you see, I've pasted this in. It's got our date, the event title, the description, and then my embed. And if you look at this one, same structure, date, title, description, and the image. Hey, this looks pretty good. Now, one thing that I'll say is that this description is a little bit tight to the embedded YouTube video. And you may or may not notice, but the space at the bottom of this image got moved. So now there's a little bit of a gap here. So let's actually go back to ChatGPT and give it that feedback and see what it updates. We're just gonna say, yep, this was perfect. Can you add some padding between the description and then the YouTube video, but then also remove the space after that video. All right, so it says we can adjust the following. So updating the card descriptions, margin bottom to 20 pixels, perfect. 
and then set the media's margin bottom to zero. Yes, that looks great. So we'll go copy that. We'll go back over to our CSS and we can just replace the bottom half of this. And look, this looks exactly like what we'd wanna do. Okay, cool. So now that we've got this CSS, let's go ahead and copy this and put this into the mighty custom code section. So that way this actually persists as we publish our course. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the theme section. Once we get into theme, we'll go to custom code. Here's our CSS section here, and we are going to save this and then preview our course. Jumping into this first lesson here, we're gonna go down to where our timeline block exists. Here's our timeline block. And man, that looks perfect. Good job, ChatGPT. All right, as you saw my reaction, I was actually pleasantly surprised that that worked as well as it did. I will say if you're leveraging ChatGPT 4 and above, you're gonna get pretty good results. If you're on the free version of ChatGPT like I am and most are, you only get so many conversations with it until it ends up downgrading you to the lower version. And in there, I will say I've tried that before, you're gonna get some weird results. So we're gonna try this with another example and see how it works. All right, and for our second and final test, we are gonna see if ChatGPT can take this quote block where we've got the person on the left with a squared off image and then the quote on the right. And I wanna flip the order there. I wanna make the quote be on the left-hand side and then the person would go on the right-hand side and then also there's this background quote that's here. I'm curious if we could get ChatGPT to also remove that as well. So let's see how this goes. Again, we are gonna right click on that section, open up the inspect window. We're gonna just highlight over anything that contains that text and image. All right, looks like this quote block figure here. We are going to copy that element again, and let's go back into ChatGPT and update that. All right, so again, set it up with a prompt. Here's a different example that I need your help with. We have a quote block that has an image on the left and the quote text on the right. Can we flip the order of those so that the image is on the right? I would also like the image to be cropped to a circle. Lastly, there's a weird quote mark in the background that I would like to remove. Here's the HTML. We go ahead and paste that in. And let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. Ooh, in this situation, I actually didn't tell it to keep the HTML as it was. So it's actually given me updated HTML as well as some CSS. Very interesting. Well, let me just give it an update and say, we can't update the HTML. And we'll send that off. Very similarly, this is going to update the block quote container area to be a display flex, but it's actually gonna reverse the direction. Again, great suggestion that I would also do. Oh great, it's as good as me. And then it looks like the border radius of 50%, perfect, that would make that image circle. We can see it's also updating the heights and widths of the avatar. Hmm, not sure I would do that. <laughs> but we can look at it and see what it does and see if we wanna keep it at all. And then it looks like maybe it's trying to suggest how to remove that quote mark, super interesting. Unsure what that'll do, but let's go ahead and copy this code. Go back into that inspect window. Uh, and in here, we're gonna go to that inspector style sheet, paste in this code here. <laughs> and wow, uh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, I do wanna see what this uh, height and width is doing. Doesn't look like it's doing much. So actually, I'm gonna get rid of that. The way I did that in the keyboard shortcut is my command or control, and then forward slash, it's the one next to shift. Um, so that did get rid of those, unnecessary. Uh, you could certainly keep it if you want, but it did nothing. Um, but the quote block did stay. Um, maybe as a developer, we'd have to chase this down. I am personally curious as to how that happens. So we're gonna go ahead and just look to see Oh, there is this guy here, this before that exists. So it looks like on quote block, or on the block quote figure, there is this before that exists, which creates that image that exists back there with those quotes themselves. So I think actually if I go back into that inspect window, we can uh, remove, 
using the CSS that they made, we can say content quote quote, and that would get rid of it. Ah, it actually looks like this before element is using a background image, setting that URL. So actually what we'll do is in our inspector, we are going to change this to just say the background image is none. So there we go. That'll get rid of that image for you. But dang, pretty good, works, works pretty well. So then the last step there is you'll just take all that CSS that you made, put that back over into the custom code world and save that. And the next time you preview your course or publish it out, it'll have all those CSS changes that ChatGPT made. Pretty cool. And while these examples work pretty well, it's not perfect, not as good as me. Uh, so if you need any help, just jump into our community, reach out, and I'll be happy to assist. If you like this video and this content, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.